Este laptop es muy pequeño. Es la verdad. It's true, this thing is tiny, check it out. This is the HP 2133 Mini Note. Uh, you saw me do a review on one of them recently and this one pretty much looks identical, but it's not identical actually, it's a little bit different. Now, how do I explain to you all the differences? It's sort of like the differences between the ASUS Triple E 900 and 901 and 1000. It's really complicated. So, let me break it down for you, let me educate you, I'm gonna school you guys on this. Let's start from the beginning. The first one I did was a one gigahertz via processor running Linux with a four gigabyte, uh, four gigabyte solid state, or actually it's flash memory, and 512 of RAM. Now, the next one on the ladder is a 1.2 gigahertz version. That one has Linux as well, it has a 120 gigabyte hard drive, and has one gigabyte of RAM. Now, this one right here, this is the, the fastest processor. This is the 1.6 gigahertz processor. Now, here's the best part about this one. This one, I don't know if you can see it from that little tiny picture, but that right there is XP Pro. That is XP Pro, and you know how like the Asus has a XP Home? Nope, XP Professional. And guess what? It's not only XP Professional. You get your choice. It's got XP Pro and Vista Business, and you get to pick which one you want. We can't get anything straight on this show. It don't matter, because these are just discs, and discs are unimportant. What's important is this thing, and it's really cool finish. It's all like brushed aluminum, and check out that. This one has a big battery. This thing lasts forever, yes, forever. Not two hours, not four hours, forever. It will go <clears throat> easily five hours without recharging excuse me, without recharging, and uh, it also acts as a stand. It's kind of cool because like, as you can see, there's nothing propping it up, and that makes it perfect for this type of typing. It's very simple and very useful, and I've really come to love this thing. I've become a big fan of netbooks lately. I used to think they were kind of silly, and uh, now that I've had a few, I've had the Asus Triple E, I've had this one, I've had the Cloud Book, I've had all of them, I've been messing with them, they're all stacked up on my desk, it's like a little stack of books. Uh, they're really fun to play with, they're really useful, you can take them places. When I'm in the office and I wanna show somebody a, a funny video on YouTube, I don't have to like go over there and like email him the link and then have him click it, I just take this with me and I go, look, and I show it to him and it's great. I really like it, so. <clears throat> Let me give you a demo, let me give you a walk around of this thing. It's probably gonna turn off now, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Starting off, this right there is a Kensington lock. You will probably never use it with this device because it's very mobile and it's gonna stay in your pocket or in your book, it's not gonna go anywhere, so you're never gonna lock it down, but it's there in case you need it. Now, moving on down the line, this is a very interesting device. It's so interesting because I don't know what it is, so let me take a look at it real quick. That's your power. That's where your power goes. Right here you have gigabit ethernet, and of course USB 2.0, and then here's the good stuff. You get an SD card reader right there, and you got an express card slot right there too. So those are gonna be pretty useful uh, on this little device. Now, moving along to the other side, very nice uh, for them to add a nice VGA there. So if you're gonna use this at someone's house and they have a monitor or at your house and you have a monitor, you don't have to worry about looking at it on the small screen. It is a decent sized screen, it's an 8.9 inch, but hey, it doesn't hurt to look at it on a 22 or 24. Now, moving on over here, you got a USB 2.0, and then of course your inputs and outputs for microphone and headphones. Taking a look at the front, I don't know which one's which, yep, this one's it. This is your power button, it's a little slider. This is your hard drive activity light, HDD activity light. And right over here, this is your Wi-Fi. This is so you don't make the plane crash when you go on, uh, on, a, on the plane, okay? You gotta turn that off so you don't hurt somebody. I typed uh, 64 words per minute on this little tiny keyboard. That's uh, it's pretty bad. So it's a 92% keyboard, 92% keyboard. Check that out. Look how wide and spacious the keys are. They, they cradle your fingers in love. It's fantastic. Awesome keyboard, 92% size of the keys. Now they're spaced a little bit closer together, uh, but they definitely, uh, it's probably one of the best keyboards that I've ever used as far as in one of these mini notes. So this thing is really cool, very great for typing. And this is the kind of one that you wanna get if you are gonna be typing a lot. If you're gonna be journaling, blogging, Twittering, MySpace, Facebook, email, all that stuff, this is the one for you. Now, what else you get on this thing? You've kind of seen it all. You get lots of RAM, you get a fast processor, you get some good stuff, you get a webcam. That's really cool too. Take a look at that up here on the top. That's a, a 1.3 megapixel webcam that is very sleek and sexy. And if you look over here on the sides, you get very nice speakers that ironically enough 
are very powerful. They sound pretty good. I'm installing some software there. As you can see, I got kind of bored, but this is an awesome device. I really like this. I like the battery. Not only does it last for ridiculously long amounts of time, but it does act as like the perfect little prop for your wrists. It works out really great. And uh, if you guys want to take a look at how small this is, take a look at that. And you can even hold it from the battery if you like. I probably don't recommend that, but you could. And uh, it's a little heavier than the other ones, but it's because it's got more hardware inside. It does have the faster processor. This processor actually is faster than the, the Atom. And plenty of hard drive space, plenty of RAM. It does give you the option of running XP Pro or Vista Business, so you can run as many apps as you want. Great little device, the HP 2133 Mini Note. If you have any questions, email me. I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the HP 2133 Mini Note, go to compusa.com and type in H24-KR954 into the search box. Or you can always call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at 1-800-COMPUSA.